Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel. And today I'm going to do a quick tip. I haven't done one on my channel in a while. And so just a quick tip inside of Nano Studio 2. I am in the Obsidian Synth. Just uh, I'll just initialize it. Um, I got the volume down because the camera was coming across really, really loud. So initialize patch. So if I go to the oscillator type and go to sample, I can you can load in samples, which is really awesome. And so whenever you click on load samples, it brings you up into a library. It'll bring you up here, but it'll also remember the last folder you were in. These are some folders that I actually created inside of the app. And what I was wanting to do is import some audio files. So I'll go the little three icon, little things over here, and then I click import and I was a little shocked when I didn't see files or, you know, whatever. And it was, I mean, I'm glad they did Dropbox and Music Library and Audio Share. Great, great, great things. But if you have some music, if you have some stuff in the files app, I mean, it seems like, oh, well, well I have to go to Audio Share, import it into Audio Share, then go from Audio Share into here. But that's not the case. Let me show you a little trick. So if you bring up the files app, and you click on my iPad on my iPad, and then you scroll down. You got Nano Studio 2. Now this is the stuff that's stored on the iPad. Um, and so if you click on the library, the audio, and then there you have it. So then you have everything that's inside the app. So if you wanted to, um, you can create a new folder. And let's call this one, um, I don't know, new, or just, let's see, drum hits. All right, and so boom, now we did drum hits. Now we did this inside of files, but if I go into side of Nano Studio 2, kind of re go out and go back in, refresh, there's drum hits. And so you can manage these files with the files app. You can also import. So if you're on iCloud Drive, here, let's just go to samples. I know I probably got some. Oh, yeah, those are all those things. Here we go. Starter pack 808. Cancel back. Um, claps and snares. So let's just do this clap right here. So I'm just going to click it. You could do the you could move the whole folder, but for brevity's sake for this thing, okay, then I click move, then I click on my iPad. It's already going to select Nano Studio 2 because that's where I was at before. But if not, then just scroll down, click on Nano Studio 2, click on library, audio, drum hits, and copy. And it'll copy it down. And now when I go back into Nano Studio 2, go to drum hits, double click, and then boom, there you have it. So it's really, really simple once you kind of understand that you can't import directly from files into here and you can't do the little fancy trick where you bring up the files app over here and then just kind of drag over. I can't get it to work. Maybe somebody can get it to work, but it just it, that doesn't work for me either. And so I just do it that way to manage your files and it's it's really handy and helpful. So thanks for watching this quick tip on Nano Studio 2, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.